Highs and high school's principals on leave tonight after a controversy erupted over a book made available to students for a reading assignment over the summer. The book contains some sexually explicit content and the district has since removed it from the list of available options for students. Team 12's Joe Dana spoke with the parent who brought the issue to the attention of the school administrators and has the latest from the district. A Horizon High School parent characterizes the book as smut and demanded the district explain why the book had been assigned in the first place. Junior level AP students had the option to choose between two different books for a summer reading assignment. One of them was So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson. The book is about online shaming and contains real interviews with real people who have made mistakes that went public. The book contains some lewd sexual content, and one paragraph contains a third-hand description about someone who claimed to have participated in bestiality. This is extremely inappropriate. Tom Morton decided to read it for himself after his then 15-year-old daughter, a student at the school, read it over the summer for the assignment. And I can't believe that someone would think that this is an appropriate assignment to for kids. I mean, my daughter was 15 when she received this assignment. In a statement, the Paradise Valley Unified School District tells 12 News, so you've been publicly shamed has since been removed as a reading option for students and that new processes were put into place to better define which books best meet educational needs in PV schools. The district also announcing that Horizon High School principal Linda Innett is on leave. Citing privacy reasons for employees, the district is not saying why. During a November 4th board meeting, Paradise Valley Unified Superintendent Troy Bayless apologized for how the situation was handled. I have confident in our teachers, but we're not perfect. We make mistakes, and we will take steps to move forward in making sure that we communicate clearly to our community expectations, we'll provide training, and we'll hold each other accountable to doing so. As for Morton, he says he's glad the district is taking action, but he says not everything is better. You know, a part of my daughter's childhood has ended now, that she's read about this extreme description of bestiality and, and pornography. This may not be the end of it. Some parents are organizing on social media and they plan to attend December's board meeting to voice their support for the English department and the principal. Joe Dana, 12 News. Joe, thanks.